Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is video five in a series of videos uh, about how I'm setting up my Wacom Cintiq to use with Painter 2015. We've looked at the art pen and the grip pen and now we're moving over to functions and we're going to look at express keys. We'll also look at touch ring, display toggle, and radio menu in other videos. But let's start with Express Keys. Now, before we talk about the Express Keys in general, let's talk about or uh, remind ourselves what I'm trying to do here. What I want to do is to minimize the distractions in uh, Painter, any of the stuff that I might have open, like this particular um, command palette or this command, uh, or actually I wouldn't even want to have my uh, brush selector open or the property bar, but I have that open when I'm doing uh, videos. I'm going to be utilizing this command toolbox and the simplified toolbox, but even some of the commands that are on there, I'm going to have them either on the express keys or on my radial dial, because I want to make everything happen as close to where I'm painting as possible and not have to go across the image to find things, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's bring up the uh, Express Keys. With the Cintiq, you have Express Keys on both sides. You have five Express Keys on the left and five Express Keys on the right. You might only use the ones on the left if your dominant hand is right, but I've gone ahead and set up both sides of them. If you're on a Wacom uh, Intuos 4 or 5, you will have your express keys on the opposite side of your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, they'll be on the left hand. But let's look more specifically at what um, I've set up. My favorite keystroke is delete layer contents. You don't see it all here, but that's what that stands for is delete layer contents. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I uh, go to painter and grab my uh, pen, again, I lost it. I couldn't find it. And I start uh, painting something here. Now I'm on the canvas layer, but this would happen whether you're on a regular layer or a canvas layer. Now I just click that first express key and it deletes everything on that layer or deletes the content of that layer. And that's real important for me. Even if I have a new layer, if we add a layer and I paint on that layer, I can still use delete contents of layer and it uh, deletes it. So um, that's one of my favorite uh, keystrokes. And how do I do that? Well, the way it happens is you go Control A or Command A for the Mac, and that gives you marching ants around the outside edge. And then if you're on a Mac, you hit the Delete key. If you're on a PC, you hit the Backspace key. So Command, I'm sorry, Control A plus the Backspace Backspace key. And the way I added that on the uh, the property as I went to keystroke and I actually did control A, you know, holding the control key down and then clicking A. Then I lifted that up and then I selected the backspace key. And then I named it delete layer contents and say, okay. So that's what that one's about and why I like it a bunch. The next one in the list is control panel. I mean, uh, color panel. And why would I want color panel? I mean, after all, I have my um, temporal color palette that I can pop up by using the simplified uh, toolbox. And I can use that from time to time. There's some disadvantages, though. It's going to pop up wherever my cursor is, so that's a good thing. But it's not going to show me whether I'm in main or additional color. It just shows me what is the active color, okay? It doesn't tell me whether I'm main or additional. And I really miss that because a lot of brushes that I work with use uh, color expression. For instance, the brush I'm working with right now 
use his color expression, I'm getting blue with a light pressure. And as I increase my pressure, I start getting that burgundy color that we saw on the uh, uh, color uh, on the temporal uh, color palette. But what I have is I set up the uh, ability to bring up my color panel. Okay. Now, once I bring the color panel up and if I place it over here and I close it, when I bring it up again, it's going to always pop up in that same area. So I'm still now close to my cursor. I can see uh, the additional color or the main color, which is what I want to see. I can tell from the black line whether which one is active. But look at what else opened up when I opened up the color panel. I have the mixer panel, the color set library panel, and the navigator. Now, this is important for Painter because this will lessen the number of keys that you might need to open something up. For instance, uh, this item, this thing, is called a palette. Each one of the items inside, the navigator, the color, mixer, color set library, are all referred to as panels. But you can nest panels inside of a palette. Once you've nested it and closed Painter, then it Painter remembers that you want these to be nested. So now, anytime I open up the um, the color panel, I'm also opening the navigator, the mixer, and the color set library. So if I want the mixer, I would just open up the color panel and click on mixer. If I want the color set, I would click on color set, just like that. So it makes it real simple to um, open multiple things. I could, if I wanted to, use the other con control keys for um, the color panel, color panels. Let's go up to window and we go to color panels and we'll see that the color panel is control plus one, the mixer is control plus two, and the color sets is control plus three. Of course, with a Mac, it would be command. Now, so what that means is if I hold down the control key and press on two, I'm still going to open up this set because I'm opening up one of these items inside of this nested palette. So, but I only need one now. So I only need to use my express key, which is set for the color panel. Now let's take a look. If we go to the keystroke, you'll see that I have control one and I've named it color panel. And that's all I need for this particular one. Additionally here, I have uh, three more um, keys, uh, three more express keys. This one is for main additional color. And that's kind of cool because um, what it does is it switches back and forth from the main additional color. So if I open up my color palette and then I press that express key, it changes the main color to the additional color and then changes the main color to that additional color or switches back and forth between the two. You can do it with this little um, arrow key there, or you can do it with the uh, express key. Now the, the, the control for that is uh, control plus S or control plus X. Now, how do I know that since it's not showing up here? Well, that's because it's in our uh, keystrokes. It's in a place, if you go to Edit, Preferences, and you go to Customize Keys, you would find it in the Customize Keys. It would probably be in Other. I'm not really sure, but I think that's what it is. Here it is. Swap Colors, Shift plus S. It also works with Shift plus X. And I'm wondering if that's in here as well. I don't remember where that is. But uh, it also swap colors or uh, switch between additional and main color. It will also work with shift plus X. Now you can find this in the PC by going to edit, 
preferences customize keys. In a um, Mac, though, you would come up here somewhere around file and edit. You will see um, Corel Painter 2015 and you'll click on Corel Painter 2015 and then go to preferences and go to uh, your customized keys. OK, so let's close that. And we're going to look for our next one, which is the modifier Alt and Control. Uh, so our Control Alt or Command Option is the shortcut key for changing the size of your brush. OK, so let's minimize this. If I use that Express key, I press on it, hold it down, and then I just drag, and that changes the size of the brush. And it's always going to happen where my cursor is. So if I'm painting away, I can stop and change the size of the brush on, a, on the fly. Now, I can do that as well by clicking over here on the brush size on screen and then coming over and changing it. But I have to make that move over here. And I don't want to make that move. That's the reason I like having it on the Wacom tablet. Now, the other thing that's here is a modifier or alt or option key. Now, what does the alt or option key do? Well, what it does is it brings up your dropper tool. So there I can pick a color by holding that down. So if I open up my um, color panel, and I click on the dropper tool, then I can select the color. I used to have that on the um, uh, tip of the stylus, but I like having the radial menu there much better. OK, so that's what that's for. And the, the shortcut key for that, you would go to Modifier and just select the Alt key. Or in the case of a Mac, you would select the Option key. OK, and the same thing for this one. It's a modifier and you would select Alt, Control or Control, Alt and say OK. All righty. Now, over on the other side, I have I have done these two keys as undo and redo. The shortcut key for redo is Control plus Y. The one for undo, most of you know, is Control plus Z. OK, now I'm not too sure that undo should be there because I have that on my pen and it's very easy to change it. Uh, redo, there's more of a reason to have it there, but it's really kind of clumsy over here. So I don't know that those are good things to have. I do want to have brush control. Um, this is the brush control panel, which is control B. So if I were to select that panel um, and I forgot which one it was. Uh oh, that's not it. I think that's it. There we go. OK, if I, if I select the right express key, <laughs> then what I get is my control panel up. Now, this is the total brush control panel. It's different from the advanced brush control panel, which I can do from the property bar, or I can do it from this advanced brush controls that I have placed on this um, custom palette, or I even have it on my radial menu right here, advanced brush controls. So I have many places to do it, but the reason I have it on all of those places is number one, I'm probably not going to have the property bar open when I'm painting most of the time. I may not have this set of commands open, but I'll always have my uh, uh, radial dial menu available for me. Now let's look again. We also have show desktop and display toggle. Now I'm not going to talk about display toggle until we get to display toggle, but show desktop, what that does is um, it closes or minimizes Painter and shows my desktop with one quick 
uh, motion. And I like that. I can also do it on my taskbar. But I like being able to go to um, the uh, <laughs> desktop quickly. Now, how did that get done? What is the shortcut key for that? Well, there isn't a shortcut key. Wacom provides uh, several different types of commands that you can use, and one of them is show desktop, and that's why I have it on there. Okay, so that tells you a little bit about the functions uh, of the express keys, why I have them on there, and the overall idea is to make my workflow faster and keep my workspace very clean. All right, I'll be back with uh, Touch Ring next. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.